Hi, I'm Susan Rutledge, author of Creating Pattern Brushes in Adobe Illustrator, here today with another tutorial on how to make a pattern brush. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and check my book out on Amazon.com. In this video, I'll show you how to make an inner corner tile for a pattern brush. In previous videos, I've shown you how to make a side tile, which is the repeating part of the pattern brush, and an outer corner tile, which occurs when the bottom of two side tiles intersect in a corner. Now we're going to look at the inner corner tile, which is occurring when the top of two side tiles intersect in a corner. It occurs less frequently, but you may have a need for one sometimes, so I'm going to show you how to make it. I've already created a side tile design for the pattern brush. I'm going to open the brushes panel and I'll drag and drop it in. I'll select pattern brush and say OK. And I'm going to name this orange half circle and say OK. Then I'll move into the outline viewing mode, keyboard shortcut, command Y. I want to make a copy of the side tile and so I'll hold down the shift and option keys and drag until they intersect and then I'll release my mouse. And next I need to rotate this duplicate and so I'll use the rotate tool, keyboard shortcut R. That places the rotate ball in the center of the object but I need it to rotate from the top left corner so I'm going to click on that anchor point and that's where it's going to rotate now. I'll hold my shift key down and drag up to a 90 degree angle and release my mouse. And then I'll get the selection tool, keyboard shortcut V, and deselect. Now I'll move into the preview mode, keyboard shortcut command Y, and I'm going to decide what kind of a design I want for this inner corner tile. I'd like something that would attach to the lower anchor points of the side tiles and have some kind of a rounded edge that would go with the side tiles. So let's go back into the outline viewing mode, keyboard shortcut command Y, and I'll get the rectangle tool keyboard shortcut M. I'm going to start at the anchor point and I'll move out to line up with the bottom parts of the side tiles. And I really need to make sure that I get this exact and I have intersections now with everything so I'm going to release my mouse. And I'll go to the properties panel and I am matching the attributes of the side tile. They have orange fills and black strokes. So I'll get the direct selection tool, keyboard shortcut A, and I'm going to click on the top left anchor, and I'll drag the handle down to round that corner. And then I want to create a circle that is similar to the size of the side tile. I'll get the ellipse tool, keyboard shortcut L, and I'll place my cursor right in the center of that circle and I'll hold down both the option and the shift keys and that allows me to draw from the center out and make a perfect circle and then I'll release my mouse. I'll get the selection tool and I'm going to just drag this circle over and place it in my inner corner tile and release my mouse. Now I'm going to select these two objects and I want to remove the circle part of this. I think I'll move into the preview mode, keyboard shortcut command Y so you can better see what I'm doing. I'll go to the properties panel. I'm going to click on the ellipsis and find the divide pathfinder tool and click on that. Then I'll select both of these. I'll ungroup them using the keyboard shortcut shift command G and then click on the artboard to deselect those and then I'm going to select just the circle and I'll press the delete key and that's gone. All right, now I need to add a bounding box. I'll move back into the outline viewing mode, keyboard shortcut, command Y and I'll get the rectangle tool, keyboard shortcut M. Now the bounding box is to be invisible so I will remove the fill and the stroke and I'll start at the top left anchor 
and I'm going to draw down to the bottom anchor and release my mouse. And I need to move this to the bottom of the design. I'll go into the Layers panel, and right now it's on top of the design. I'll use the keyboard shortcut Shift, Command, Left Bracket, and now it's at the bottom. I'll get the Selection Tool, Keyboard Shortcut V, and I'll select the design and the bounding box and group them using the keyboard shortcut Command G. Now let's move back into the preview mode, Keyboard Shortcut Command Y. So I like the way that design has worked out, and I'm ready to drag it into the brushes panel. I'm going to move it out of the way, and I'll show you first the way you might expect to place this into the brushes panel based on what we've learned so far. I'll open the brushes panel, and I will select the inner corner tile. I'll hold the Option key down, and I'm going to drag it into the middle tile. It's the third from the left, and release my mouse. And when we look at the preview, it doesn't look like it's turned in the right direction. But I'm going to go ahead and say OK, and I'll get the Pen Tool, Keyboard Shortcut P, and we'll drag out just some horizontal and vertical lines here and apply it, and we'll get a closer look. OK, let me go to the Properties panel and reduce this. So that's actually not horrible because it is connecting, but that's not what I wanted. I wanted for the rounded part to line up with the rounded part of the side tile. And that would correlate with the way the outer corner tile is. And um, that's not what happened. So let me show you why. When you drag your inner corner tile into the brushes panel, it has to be rotated 180 degrees first. Doesn't make sense, but if you don't do it, it's not going to fit. So let's open the brushes panel, and I'm going to just make a copy of this. I'll hold down my Option key and drag, and then I'm going to rotate it. I'll use the Rotate tool, keyboard shortcut R, and I'll hold the Shift key down and I'm going to rotate 180 degrees, and then get the Selection Tool, Keyboard Shortcut V. Now I'm going to grab this inner corner tile. I'll hold down the Option key, and I'm going to drag it into the inner corner tile bin and release my mouse. And now in the preview, I can see that it is turned in the right direction. So I'll click OK, and yes, I want it to apply to the strokes, and in fact, it has. This was what I had asked for Illustrator to do, and it has done it very nicely. So now if you ever need an inner corner tile, all you need to remember is once you design it, rotate it 180 degrees, and your pattern brush should come out just like you expect it. I hope this has been helpful, and you'll join me again soon for another tutorial on creating pattern brushes in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching. Bye now.